Hi, this is Andy. I'm going to show you how to use FieldWire for common architectural and design workflows. In this first workflow, I will discuss how you are able to manage documents throughout the life cycle of a project. Drawings are in a constant state of change, which is why they are always a challenge to manage. I'll discuss the upload process and how to save architects and designers time, how to name different versions of the drawing throughout all phases of the, pro of the project, and then how to quickly review drawings in FieldWire pr uh, prior to publishing them out, and finally, how to use FieldWire to organize your specifications in an easy to view format. So I'm gonna jump on over to our web platform. So today I'm gonna to set the scene. Right now, I am an architect or designer that is working in the office. I wanted to set the scene because right now I'm signed in to my uh, web computer on my laptop um, looking via the, the browser field platform. The reason that this is important is because a lot of the setup and um, getting things ready to go to coordinate work in the field is going to be done in the office. I'll first start with um, plans, but one thing I wanted to talk about before I get into it is just the interface and the, the difference between the web and mobile platform. You'll notice over here on the left-hand side, this bar is going to remain consistent, which allows you to easily switch from the web to the mobile platforms. I'll start with this plans tab, and here I'm able to upload and add a new project whenever I start. I can drag and drop a single or multi-page PDF directly into this gray box, or use one of these integrations. The one that I wanted to point out for architects and designers is this Revit plugin. The reason why I wanted to point it out is because now with this plugin, instead of having to print drawings from Revit, and then upload them into FieldWire, you are now able to streamline that process and publish them directly from Revit to FieldWire. These integrations over here are what we call and have a two-way sync integration with. What this means is if some of your team is in the office and referencing drawings um, uh, basically on a different system, but you're using Dropbox, Box, or OneDrive, you can push and pull the information from FieldWire to these integrations so that everyone has the most current drawings and there's no confusion of, of what is the correct set. So whatever your preferred upload method is, you can upload your drawings. And what FieldWire will do is break them up into these different thumbnails. As soon as you upload the drawings, you do have the capability to specify the specific folder names and the way that you want to organize your project. These are all alphanumeric, and you can um, organize these by different trades or whatever works best for your company. When you do upload your plans, FieldWire will scan the plan, and what it's doing is looking for the sheet number. In this case, uh, the sheet number is A201-1, and what it's gonna do with this information is one, name the drawing, two, it's gonna scan the rest of the drawing looking for any callouts, sections, elevations, and details, and it'll automatically hyperlink those sheets uh, to your callouts and elevations. For example, if I zoom in here, I can see that this elevation calls for A3.01. I'm able to go into this, uh, grab the information from the elevation sheet that I need, get into the rabbit hole of, of gathering that information, but then quickly be able to jump back to where I was before. The last thing that it'll do with this piece of information of the sheet number is it'll recognize when you upload new sheet numbers. This being said, if you're in the design phases of a project and you have already done 100% DD and now have your 50% CD set, it's going to recognize this drawing number and confirm with you that this is in fact a new version. When it recognizes this number, and you confirm that it is a new version, it's gonna automatically slip sheet it. Down here, you can see that my most current version is this 50% CD, but I can go back and check and reference my 100% CD uh, or DD and, and above. If I do wanna go back and reference exactly what had changed, I could go to my 100% DD set 
And you'll note that this watermark follows you around the whole time to make sure that all consultants and everyone uh, collaborating in the design knows that this is outdated and only for reference. These numbers will come in as uh, dates and you can change these to fit your needs and how you guys organize your project sets and deliverables. The other thing you can do on both web and mobile is compare these sheets. A couple things to note about this is you can compare different versions as well as compare different sheets that have been uploaded to Fieldwire. You'll notice over here that this 50% CD version is in blue and my 100% outdated version is in red. I'm gonna go ahead and compare these and I'll show you what these colors mean. A couple things to note on the design and why this is important is you can use this compare option to make sure that all of your markups and notes before you, you print out a project were in fact picked up. You can also use it to make sure that before you publish out drawings, you have gone back and caught all of the different changes that were made, um, highlighted them with your version and delta changes. So in this example here, there's a lot going on on this project. So I can turn off my layers, just toggle these on and off. Now I can easily see, okay, this wall over here has been added this red wall has been removed but if i zoom in a little bit closer i'll notice that hey we didn't actually cloud any of these changes we need to go back cloud these and assign the delta number to them i also know that we did a lot of our markups in red and that during one of our coordination meetings we talked about adding some walls here here i'm able to say okay i did in fact pick up this markup i can now remove it and and move on with the design and coordination process The last thing I wanted to talk about was how you're able to get your specifications and other information into the project as you need it. So I'm going to go back to my all plans tab. And what I did here was actually created a specification table of contents folder within my plan section to easily reference all the specifications. In this file tab here, I'm able to keep all the information such as those specifications or any RFIs or anything else needed to design or build the project. So this is just a way to house that information. The reason I put the specification table of contents here was because we're able to manually hyperlink all of these files directly to the plans itself. So why I think this is important is now I have an easy way to reference the specifications on this project and then quickly get to the actual spec sections. So in this case, you can see I've, I've linked my different divisions directly to my table of contents. And to do this, you would just go to your markup toolbar over here, go over to the manual hyperlink. You see this paper clip, which will reference any files. I can drag and drop it to the location where I need to add new specification sections, and then I can type in the title of that spec section and add it directly to that plan. That was a general overview of how to use Fieldwire for document management. Please let me know if you have any questions or need any assistance. Thanks.